You are listening to the Beyond the Pain podcast, where Dr. Emil Tompkins and his guest guide you through the latest techniques to relieve your pain and learn how to fuel, move, and think for lifetime wellness. Hi there, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and this year the flu hit us, and it hit us pretty hard. There are more cases of the flu than we probably ever noticed in recent history. It's bad, and whenever it gets bad, and and even honestly if, if it isn't bad, one of the first things that we start to hear on the news and in commercials is that we must get the flu shot. Must we? Now, before you have that initial worry and turn off the video because I'm going to say something that you don't agree with or you feel like we're one of those crazy anti-vaxxers, I just want to, to let you know that if you believe that flu shots are really going to cure you of all the flu or prevent flu in your life, you are going to be definitely disappointed. This is directly from the CDC. A preliminary release um, Thursday, February 15th said that this year's flu vaccine was only 25% effective against the most dangerous strain of the flu this year. You heard that right, 25%. Overall, the vaccine, overall the vaccine is only 36% effective. So the thing that's going to give us the most problem the flu shot only helps us with 25% of people with that. So guys, if you have the flu shot, you are still very susceptible to getting the flu. Knowing this, the guilt and the pressure that people and families uh, receive to force them to have the flu shot just really seems silly. Um, since what they have to offer doesn't actually really work very well. So now that we know that there's no magical force field against the flu shot, um, so instead of taking our time talking about the problems with the flu shot, I mean, it's pretty clear that there are some drawbacks. Let's start talking about the key to defeating the flu. Now, the, the main key in defeating the flu is the same as the key to defeating most diseases, and that um, this story will illustrate why. Imagine you're in a town with a rat problem. Everywhere you go, you have piles of garbage around your town and the rats are beginning to take over. They're taking over all of the garbage heaps and they're destroying the town. Eventually someone gets the bright idea that they should set a ton of traps and catch the rats. Another person thought that poisoning the rats would solve the problem. Another recommended rat repellent. Everyone wanted to get rid of the rats but they were masking the problem. The problem was the town was dirty, and because the town was dirty, it was a perfect breeding ground for the rats, and just catching and killing or repelling the rats wasn't going to solve the problem. If you have the flu or any other virus, instead of focusing on killing the flu or eradicating a single sickness, the key to health is making sure that your body is not a breeding ground for sickness. Ensure that your body is an environment that is resistant to the flu. So we're going to talk about a few steps. Seven steps to live healthier, prevent the flu, some things to do if you have the flu, and many other sicknesses so that you can be as healthy as possible. Step number one, eat light. Guys, if you happen to get sick, your body body needs to focus on healing over digesting. Listen to your body and allow it to fast. Eat citrus to get some natural vitamin C, which will stimulate white blood cell production and have plenty of hydration. Um, drink lots of fluids, plenty of hydration. Drink lots of fluids because staying hydrated will help you prevent disease. It also keeps your respiratory tract from, uh, from drying out. Fluids also help you flush your body of toxins. Water's best and definitely avoid any sweetened drinks. Um, take immune boosting supplements. Elderberry is effective against eight strains of flu virus. It's been known to cut the number of days of sickness in half. Echinacea stimulates the body to produce and st strengthen white blood cells. Uh, ginger has wonderful anti-inflammatory properties. It helps reduce chills, sore throat, and body aches. Oregano oil is a powerful anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibiotic, and immune stimulator. Um, yarrow tincture helps reduce fever by inducing perspiration, sweating. If you use Frequently, it can shorten the onset to less than 24 hours, which is unheard of when it comes to the flu. Homeopathy, there are lots of homeopath homeopathic remedies, um, and this is number four, homeopathy. There are lots of homeop homeopathic remedies that help with um, immune function. Belladonna for fever, Brionia for aching joints. Um, 
there are lots of things that help um, with, with the flu. Um, essential oils, eucalyptus opens the lungs and sinuses. Lavender promotes relaxation and improves rest, which is vital. Peppermint soothes fever and upset stomach. Tea tree oil has antimicrobial properties. Hydrogen peroxide, um, uh, if you add a little bit of that to the ear, that will make, um, uh, let's see, if you add hydrogen peroxide to the ear, it's actually been found to prevent the flu virus. Um, supplements, vitamin C stimulates the production of white blood cells. Vitamin D, higher levels of vitamin D is associated with low incidence of sickness. Zinc reduces the duration and severity of the flu. So guys, you've heard seven different steps to prevent the flu virus. So how are you going to prevent the flu? Simply take care of your body so that you aren't a breeding ground, uh, breeding ground for disease. Um, make your body resistant to the flu with the seven natural methods before you, and you're on your way to being healthier and preventing disease. Guys, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and I hope you have a great day. When you're trying to make sure that you're as healthy as possible, you're trying to boost your immune system, there are lots of different directions you can go. Today we're going to talk about uh, supplements and their ability to boost your immune system. Uh, one in particular are probiotics, because you probably know that probiotics now have an effect on your, your digestive system. Many of us have issues with not having the normal bacteria in our digestive system and when you supplement that that makes a difference in how things are functioning when it comes to digestion however our digestive system is linked so closely with our immune system that it has been shown that proper amounts of probiotics can make and have an effect on your immune system and very specific strains of probiotics can have a direct effect on the immune system. So there's a couple that you want to consider. Um, uh, take, take note of these. Uh, Lactobacillus paracaceae 8702 and LP heal 9 Lactobacillus plantarum heal 9 Those two strains of lactobacillus have... Um, incredible effects on your immune system will almost instantaneously boost uh, your immune system function uh, seems to help support healthy nasal healthy sinus healthy respiratory function so it's something that um, through metagenics uh, there's a product called ultra flora immune booster it's really fantastic and it um, it's something that potentially could make a difference for you so I encourage you to check that out do some research yourself on those two strains of lactobacillus and I'll have a link in the show notes for you to check that out yourself hey guys I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins I hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon Many people fail to make a change in their health until things are drastic, until we've gone so far that it's so challenging to make that change or we feel like it's almost too late and then we're much more reluctant to make those changes in our health. This is a problem and it needs to change. It needs to stop. When you find something that has an opportunity to make a difference in your health or in the health of someone around you, I invite you to take that opportunity to make that change for yourself or for someone you know. So I have a favor to ask of you. If you've listened to this podcast and you feel like there's something here that you think will benefit someone that you know, I invite you to share that podcast with them. There's a share link on the bottom of the screen. I want you to click that share button to share this with others. Give others the opportunity to experience the Beyond Pain Relief podcast. Um, share that with others. Make a difference in the health of someone around you. And I thank you so much for doing that. This is Dr. Emil Tompkins. Thank you for joining us on the Beyond Pain Relief podcast. And thank you for making a difference in the lives of the people around you. Have a great day. You are listening to the Beyond the Pain podcast, where Dr. Emil Tompkins and his guests guide you through the latest techniques to relieve your pain and learn how to fuel, move, and think for lifetime wellness.